Mark, that was so stupid. No, I'm not gonna do it. What's up, guys? My name is Strike, and um, this is a standoff hardpoint gameplay. I'm using the DSR. I go 63 and 8, and uh, yeah, it's a really good game. So um, today I'm gonna talk about a topic that um, kind of came up in the last few days. But first of all, uh, you guys probably noticed that I joined Vayne. Uh, it's been on my YouTube, um, and yeah, so I joined Vayne. And um, the reason I joined Vane wasn't because of the subs at all. Um, I've known people in Vane for a while. I've known Legacy for a really long time as the co-leader. Um, I knew Vane since they had about 100 sub subs uh, since Zios was there. And, um, yeah, so I've been, like, I've been kind of a part of Vane for a while. And um, I, uh, I talked to Legacy. And um, I really, he, he noticed I was really into it. And then I was really into Vane. And um, he let me join, and so um, that's really cool of him. Uh, Legacy is an awesome, uh, awesome player, awesome leader. So yeah, um, I'll link uh, Vane's channel in the description of this video, uh, along with all the videos to follow. So uh, you can definitely go check them out. They release some sick content. So um, what I wanted to talk about today, um, this whole Vane thing kind of leads into uh, my topic. So I edited my intro. And, um, it was funny, because I actually did this commentary yesterday, and, uh, it's totally going to be different from what I did yesterday. I threw out the commentary I did yesterday because it just sounded stupid, I sounded stupid, and, uh, it's actually not what I wanted to talk about. So basically, I edited my intro for Vane, and, um, don't get me wrong, the clips are really good. All the clips that I've saved up for my episode are, like, no, insane. So, it's going to be awesome. Um, a few beckoning three clips in there, so, you know, watch out. Um, but I edited it, and I was like, alright, it, it, it wasn't, it didn't turn out how I envisioned it to be, and at first, I was like, whatever, you know, I had a few rendering glitches in it where the screen would, like, flicker, or, um, I don't know, I didn't like, um, I also didn't like the style, uh, that I edited it to, um, it's, it, it was kind of... I tried to go out of my comfort zone with editing. Um, I usually like editing uh, like epic trailers, or uh, usually I edit to rock. Or I like cool rap too, like uh, like clean rap. Um, so I actually tried editing to the always, which is um, you'll probably know that from Pomage. But um, I wanted to see how an edit would turn out if I edited to like that pop rock style. And, um, it didn't turn out good, um, it just, I don't know, there's something about it, about the beat, um, that I just couldn't, like, sink into, and I just kind of realized that, like, rock and cool rap is definitely, um, you know, kind of my style, and, um, I definitely tried to edit it kind of like, almost like Pomage, and that just didn't work out. Like, I would go back to his episodes, and I would kind of, like, look at what he did, and like that's not necessarily a bad thing to look at what um what bigger YouTubers do when they're editing videos, but I tried to like not mimic him, but I tried to do his style, and like that just doesn't work because all editors really need to have their own styles and be original, and um that's pretty much why it didn't turn out good because I was I wasn't you know being myself while I was editing it, so um at first. I said it was done, um, and, yeah, I said it was done, and I, I, I had second thoughts about it, because obviously it wasn't when I turned, what I wanted it to turn out to be, and there were also, uh, rendering glitches, because I had set the rendering settings really weird, and I was toying with some of the clips and stuff, and it was just really weird, and it didn't, it obviously didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. So what I'm gonna do oh my gosh, is I'm gonna re-edit it. Uh, ugh, re-edit, re-edit it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I thought of getting like another editor for it and stuff like that, which is stupid. Um, so I'm just gonna re-edit it. Um, because I'm confident that I can do a really good job on it. And um, yeah, I just think you should always be completely confident in your videos. Um, I was editing the Fish Pro trailer the other day, and um. 
that kind of that motivation that I'm gonna get something more out of um, out of editing it like not get something more out of it but the fact that I'm <laughs> I'm doing it for a larger crowd kind of made me like pinpoint a lot of different specific things that I need to fix and really made that video perfect that that second fish pro video I made was absolutely perfect and I feel like that's the way I need to think of with my episodes I need to make all of my Call of Duty videos perfect you know um, I feel like that's I haven't been living by that and I feel like that might be why I haven't grown as fast as I've wanted to um, so it's definitely something that I need to work on just just going harder on my videos on my editing and, and stuff like that and I think that's like that's really a good thing for um for you guys to you know just live by you know whether it's sports or whether it's gaming if you're starting a new channel you're not going to get recognized if you don't go 100%, and you're not going to improve if you don't go 100%. Um, no matter what it takes, I promise you that the uh, the goal, you know, will be reached. Um, you know, coming from me, uh, I'm I'm probably not a very reliable source because I haven't really uh, gotten to the uh, to the point that I've wanted to, which is obviously, you know, up there, the top, you know. But um. That's Strike's insight, you know? That's um that's what I gotta say. So that's why my intro isn't gonna come out as soon as I wanted it to. I'll probably get it done in the next few days. I'm not necessarily gonna make it like a lot more complex. It's probably even gonna be simpler. Um it's just gonna be more my style, you know, more what you guys are used to see. Um no Twixter that messes stuff up. And I have Vegas twelve now, so um I can't really torrent or um, you know get Twixter free for 12 so it's kind of a bummer but yet it makes editing so much uh, more complicated and um, for some reason when I use Twixter you guys could probably tell them beckoning too or um, yeah beckoning too uh, some of this stuff got wavy and that was Twixter and for some reason it just screws up for me so I'm not sure but I got rid of that anyway so yeah um that's uh that's really all I have to talk about. Um I know there's some time left in this gameplay. Um but yeah, so just to summarize some stuff, I joined Vane uh because uh it's I've been a part of it for a while and I really I really have been into into Vane for a while and I decided it was time for me to become a full time player. Um and actually, I might, I think I'm going to be in the uh, editor list too, so I might edit some stuff for the team as well. Um, I think, I think I'm done editing big montages, um, especially that, that Twixter um, aspect. And just, Twixter, like, just sets, sets people apart, I, I feel like. Um, I don't know, like, Twixter's really for big editors. Um... But, yeah, I think I'm done with big montages. I think I can settle with episodes um, and mini-tages because I'm already I'm already a player, you know? I'm already always on the game and, you know, busy with other stuff. And it's just a lot. Um, but I can manage, you know, editing episodes and editing mini-tages and stuff like that. Like, that I can handle. But, um, yeah, so if you don't already know, Beckoning 3 is going to be edited by uh, A-Ray, my brother. And, uh... He's a really sick editor, so he should do a really good job on that. Um, Ty is going to get a few more clips, and then I think we're good to go with the editing. Um, so that should be out hopefully next month, I'm really hoping. Um, we just got to get more clips for it. But um, clips we have so far, it's going to beat Beckoning 2 by a long shot. Um, no Nuketown crap, hopefully. At least, I know I'm only putting in... Uh, I'm putting in one Nuketown clip. That's insane. Maybe a few triples. I might put in a few Nuketown triples. But no quad feeds. Ew, quad feeds on Nuketown. I even hate seeing that in episodes. Like, you're not showing off anything. But yeah. That's, uh... That's what I gotta talk about, man. I'm really tired this week because, um... I've been doing conditioning and schoolwork and... I haven't had a lot of time to play Xbox. I've also been editing my episode, which, you know, it's great when you just edit it and you're like, wow, that's shit. But, um, you know, I've also been working on the Fish Pro stuff. That's all good. It's all good to go. 
But yeah, guys, that was uh, that was this gameplay. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll try to do a strike is live soon. I really want to do that. Trust me. Uh, just the last time I tried to do it, it just turned out really bad. Um, but yeah, I'll try to do one soon. And um, I really, guys, I really, ugh, really hope you guys enjoy your day. Yeah. So bye.